back fellas. We are in Grand Rapids on a marginal VFR day. Going down to Georgia with our passengers in the back. Slight change in plans. Sick child. Hospital visit. Advise Mr. Contact, you have golf. Turn up the airport information, golf 1853 Zulu, wind 270 at 17, gust 24, visibility 10. Ceiling 2500 broken, 3300 broken, 4400 overcast. Grand Rapids, uh, ground zero seven one two Romeo Alpha, signature south, uh, ready to taxi. With uh, We have information, golf, but I guess it's getting updated. Sierra 712 Romeo Alpha, Grand Rapids Ground, runway 26 left at Bravo Taxi via Romeo Delta Bravo, distance remaining is 6,200 feet. Grand Rapids uh, Tower, Sierra 712 Romeo Alpha, holding short uh, 26 left at Bravo, ready for departure. Sierra 721, correction, 712 Romeo Alpha, Grand Rapids Tower, fly runway heading runway 26 left at intersection Bravo, cleared for takeoff, wind 280 at 15, caution wake turbulence departed regional jet. All right, there's pizza alive. Instruments looking good. All in the green, looking for 70. Laps up. Alpha, contact departure. Over departure, to Alpha, thanks. Grand Rapids, uh, departure, Sierra 71, Toromi Alpha, climbing uh, through 1500, uh, runway heading for 4000. Uh, 712, Romeo Alpha, Grand Rapids, departure, radar contact, climb, maintain 9000. What's your on course heading? On course is 177, Toromi Alpha, climb 9000. Just to Romeo Alpha, clear on course. Clear on course, to Romeo Alpha. All right, we're clear on course. Let's lower the nose. And now it's going to get warm. Look at that, guys. Oh, look at this thing. Blue skies. That's pretty amazing. Nice and smooth up here. Nice. And Connor, project my set again. Get uh, your tops at 5,500 in case you need to know. Tiro Melvin. Tiro Melvin, thank you very much. All right, I'm going to Sierra 2 Romeo Alpha, contact Kalamazoo approach 119.2. Good day. Over to Kalamazoo over 119.8. Tiro Alpha, good day, thanks. Number 2 Romeo Alpha, the uh, frequency 119.2, 192. Okay, 19.2, thanks. Kalamazoo approach, uh, 0712 Romeo Alpha, checking in with you through 6.5 for 900,000 uh, uh, direct uh, destination. 0712 Romeo Alpha, Kalamazoo approach, Kalamazoo Ultimate 2965. 2965, thanks. Right, wraps up. Yep. Make sure lean is required, we're good. Engine parameters, fuel pump is boost, next checklist, cruise. We'll go there in a second. Okay. Let's lean in a little bit more. We have a quite a bit of a tailwind here, guys. That's nice. Yeah, it's uh, off to the right side, but it's uh, uh, 35 knots right now. So our true airspeed is 136, but our ground is 149. So it's giving us a nice about 14 knots tailwind. So that's a very very welcome. All right, time to put the glasses on because it's getting pretty bright up here. And uh, this wind will be coming off in, in a little bit too. Hey guys, so we're cruising at 900,000. We had some buildups uh, behind us there, and now uh, uh, we've had that.
It's been a little bit choppy, not too bad, but now it's going to get probably a little worse. Looking at my temperature outside, 6 degrees, feel okay, 5 degrees in the clouds, 4 degrees. Three degrees. Uh, time to turn on the pitot heat. In order to pick up icing, you need uh, basically uh, freezing temperatures and visible moisture. So if you're not in visible moisture, it doesn't matter what the temperature is, you're not going to pick up any ice. So visible moisture is any moisture that you can see with your eyes, whether it's uh, clouds, rain, mist, um, uh, fog, anything. There's two Romeo Alpha contact Columbus first, 134.45, good day. 134.45, good day to Romeo Alpha. Columbus approach, uh, 2712 two Romeo Alpha, checking in level 9000 direct destination. Sierra 712 Romeo Alpha, Columbus at 9000, date now timbers 2970. 2970, thanks. Sierra 512 Romeo Delta, Columbus approach. Date now, temperature 29070. Use caution, both of you Cirruses with a 1, 2, and an R in your call sign on different frequencies. Okay. So as you can see, we're going through an area of some buildups here uh, as uh, we're in the back of the cold front that's moving through the country. And uh, we lost uh, a portion of, of our tailwind and then our fuel remaining was getting a little bit uncomfortably low for me at the uh, ridge of peak that I was running, so I fell back a little bit, and now I'm running a uh, lean off peak. So I'm only putting uh, 13 gallons an hour versus 18, so much better. Uh, although I looked about uh, seven or eight knots, uh, but you know, just eight knots for so much extra fuel, almost not worth it, you know. Uh, and then in case there's a, some kind of diversion or something or some kind of delay, then I'll be getting uh, critically low on fuel. So I'm like, eh, I'd rather throttle back and now I, I feel very comfortable landing with uh, 30 gallons of fuel, which is more than two hours of flight time. Right over Lexington, Kentucky. Drop it, honey. All right, update from up here. So, <coughs> I there's a bunch of terrible weather up ahead. You can oh, see yeah? on the screen over here. See okay. that? You can see that all that stuff right there, right? Yeah. So I requested a few degrees to the right. And uh, well, he gave us a, a, an arrival procedure, two four six two on board. Which took us to the right to go behind the weather. Okay. It's killing us with time. Oh okay. no. So, but it's okay. We added another 15 minutes. Is that behind us on the screen? Uh, that's ahead of us, looking down. North is up there. Oh. Well, uh, just explain to you. Forward. There we okay. go. Now I get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, this is also killing our fuel, fuel situation. It says now that we're going to land with 21 gallons. So it was a good call that I throttled back earlier. However, uh, we're not going to do the entire arrival procedure. Uh, after a certain point, they're gonna get us direct to good net. All right, it's time to for us to uh, uh, brief our arrival procedure, the Bounty Four arrival, with a choo-choo transition. This is what it looks like. If you guys use four flight, feel free to pull it up, or if you have uh, one of your template, uh, one of your uh, plates, pull it up. So we're gonna be coming from the north. We're going towards choo-choo right now. And then. We're going to head southbound again uh, to dump and then uh, to the Bonnie um, intersection and we should expect 5,000. So we're going to be crossing Bonnie at 5,000. I was uh, right, well, going to uh, 
doing the uh, arrival procedure, but then they give us direct the destination because of all the bad weather to the left and right. So it turned out better. So now uh, you'll notice that I'm traveling back, traveling back because uh, you know in the clouds when it's really bumpy, you know I want to go down to 133 knots indicated, which is our maneuvering speed, which is basically uh, uh, a speed in which any load. Uh, uh, and the wings will basically make the wing uh, stall first instead of break apart. Uh, so it's easier for the passengers, easier for the airplane in case of some severe turbulence. So, rule of thumb, that's why you see me throttling back quite a bit. And we took forever to get here. Well, look at that. Where's our flight time? Steady and whatever that was. Bug. We probably will get a little bumpy here now. Does that freak you out? No. Number 712 Romeo Alpha contact at Atlanta. Approach on 126.9 or 7. 126.9 or 7 to Romeo Alpha, thanks. Atlanta approach, uh, 0712 Romeo Alpha, checking in uh, level 7000, direct uh, Gwinnett uh, with Romeo. 712 Romeo Alpha, do you check in to 7? Yes, uh, checking in uh, level 7000. 712 Romeo Alpha, right. Big Bush approach runway 25 at Gwinnett. Information is Romeo. All right, uh, we'll expect a visual for uh, uh, Gwinnett uh, uh, runway 25, and uh, I do have information on Romeo Terminal. Okay. 712 Romeo Alpha would like to descend. Hey, Romeo Alpha, lower in uh, six miles. All right, to Romeo Alpha. And Sirius 12 Romeo Alpha, flighting 180, keep you west of area of Martin Station. I'm showing ahead. I want a zero to Romeo Alpha. There's two Romeo Alpha to maintain 4,000. To maintain 4,000 to Romeo Alpha. And at 712 Romeo Alpha, would like to turn a little bit to the left for the build ups right now ahead of me. Is that one turn? 712 Romeo Alpha. A two Romeo Alpha, Roger, clear direct, Gwinnett. Does that be good? Yep, much better. Better Gwinnett, thanks. There's T Romeo Alpha going at 12 o'clock, one zero miles. I'm looking for the field, that's Romeo Alpha. Alright, babe, we'll be landing in like three and a half minutes. Okay, so I should get her up. Yeah. Uh, 712 Romeo Alpha because the field in sight. T Romeo Alpha, clear bridge approach runway 25, contact Gwinnett anyway, Tower 124.1. Alright, over to the tower and clear for the piece wall, runway 25, Romeo Alpha, thanks. Queen of Tower, Sierra 712 Romeo Alpha, uh, is on the visual for runway 25. Uh. Sierra 712 Romeo Alpha, board at Tower, runway 25, right base entry, wind 2308, clear to land. Alright, right base uh, entry, uh, clear, uh, runway 25, clear to land, to Romeo Alpha. We have a ton of altitude to set, there's the runway, We're still 2200 feet. And a ton of speed. Cheers to Romeo Alpha Tower, wind check 24088. Alright, thanks, Jeremy. Uh, let's put those flaps in. And the second notch. 500. Jet Center, to Romeo Alpha. Roger, and uh, to Romeo Alpha, turn left from the naval taxi to the Jet Center, monitor ground point eight. Are you familiar? Uh, yeah, I'm familiar. Uh, it's right next to the restaurant, to Romeo Alpha, I think. All right, guys. That was a long flight. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the morning. On the way to Boca. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another flight. 
today. I'm going to Georgia, I'm going to Boca. Well, we'll see if we're going to make it. The weather is pretty bad south of here. We'll try to go around it. But if not, then we have to stop somewhere. Wait it out. We're at South Mission Uniform 1145 Zulu. Wind calm, visibility 10, sky condition clear. We're going to ground uh, 0712 Romeo Alpha uh, is at the uh, jet center, ready to taxi with you on form uh, a VFR to the southeast. 0712 Romeo Alpha, going at ground. Winds are calm. Would you like runway 7 for departure? Runway 7 works to Romeo Alpha. To Romeo Alpha, runway 7, taxi via whiskey. Runway 7 via whiskey to Romeo Alpha. Good man, good man. He gave us runway 7, which is right here. Going to tower, sir, 712 Romeo Alpha, is holding short runway 7, ready for takeoff. 712 Alpha, uh, Romeo Alpha, going to tower, proceed on course, runway 7, clear for takeoff. Proceed on course, runway 7, clear for takeoff, 712 Romeo Alpha. Alright, everything's good. Good, 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 good. Now it's clear, departure path is clear. Use all the available runway we can use. Sierra 712 Romeo Alpha just departed uh, Gwinnett uh, Lima Zulu uniform and I'd like to pick up my FAR clearance uh, to Boca. Uh, Bravo Charlie Tango. Why didn't you get it from the tower? Well, uh, we're just uh, uh, go as uh, quickly as possible. We have a sick child here and we'll try to beat the uh, as much of the weather as possible. Sierra 712 Romeo Alpha, you're clear to Boca Airport via Radar Vectors Dublin, St. Simons, and Asfile. Climbing maintain 7,000, expect 9,000 in one zero minutes. That guy was such a, a dick. I, I put it, she can hardly hear me. Yeah. Do you hear what you said? Why don't you get it from Tower? Yeah. Like, I have a sick time, dude. I want to get everyone as quickly as possible. Exactly. You shut up after that. Yeah. You didn't say anything. Dick. How are you doing, honey? I'm feeling that well, but... Good! You're doing a little better. What was her temperature when you last took it? 100? 101.1. Alright, so here's the idea. They're sending us to Dublin, which is DBN. Right there. So what I require is 10 degrees to the left. I want to be behind that band. This is not updated, okay? This is, uh... Uh, this could be outdated because the whole thing is moving that way from the west to the east. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get as close to that band as possible because by the time we get there this thing is going to shift so I don't want to be in the thick red. I want to be as much in the clear of that as possible and then after that my plan is I found a fix called Arnie uh, which is west of SSI and also clear of all the military airspaces um, because that, sometimes they don't want us flying through those if they're active and they could be active today it doesn't matter what how the weather looks like so, and then Arnie is basically somewhere over here this will keep me in the clear in the yellow and green bands which is not a problem for me uh, and then from there if I can just get a straight shot to I don't know um, Ormond and then, five, four, Charlie, contact and then Atlanta, catch Victor one, 3 five, from there, five. that will work like a charm. Now if this gets real bad in here, uh, if it becomes red all of a sudden, I'm just going to turn around and go to Macon, divert to Macon. Approach, uh, good morning. So this heading is uh, looking pretty good right now, I do have that cell that's popping up right there. I don't like that, it just popped up. Notice how things are detaching from the main cell and are becoming their own. Four, two, five, golf contact, make I have to see, that's what, what's called a, a sucker right there. It's 
you right in. Good thing to have the storm scope too. Hopefully we'll be able to see that cell too. So we'll kind of shift away from it. It may be embedded. Embedded meaning that there's clouds around it, you cannot see it. And Atlanta 0712, Romeo Alpha with an additional request. Into Romeo Alpha, go ahead. Yep, uh, I don't know what you see there on your radar, but uh, what I see here is uh, maybe another five degrees to the left will look a little better uh, for me. Into Romeo Alpha, right, deviation to the left is approved, maintain 9000. All right, maintain 9000, another five to the left, to Romeo Alpha. And we'll take about 10 minutes, nine minutes to get there. Maybe the thing is moving. Yeah, we'll be probably right there when we get there. So maybe a little bit to the left. Or we'll get the outer band of it. That's my calculation. Yeah, because I'm thinking it's moving at 40. So it's probably going to take about, you know, 10 minutes to make that distance, which is where I'm going to be. It's probably already outdated by 10 minutes. But it's probably right there. So, yeah, I'll be hitting it. A little bit to the left will keep that clear. We'll see how another update will show us if that hole is still going to be there. We'll get uh, a little bumpy here, honey. Be, okay, just, uh, be ready for it. Okay. All right, it looks like it's dying out, the thing. It's dissipating. So this heading is looking pretty good. I'm going to plug in Arnie here. Just to have it ready. Atlanta 712 Romeo Alpha, I would like to request another 5 degrees to the left at this time. And to Romeo Alpha, right? Another 5 degrees left is approved and uh, say approximate uh, heading at this time and uh, how far off course are you? Well, uh, right now it looks like I'm about uh, 4 miles off course <coughs> and uh, approximate heading is uh, 145, so I'm looking for a, a 140. Roma 712, Romeo Alpha, contact Jacksonville Center, 127.57, good day. 127.57 for Jacksonville, to Romeo Alpha, good day. Jacksonville Center, 0712, Romeo Alpha, checking in level 9000 on a 140 heading for the weather. Roma 712, Romeo Alpha, Jacksonville Center, Roger, Alpha, Alpha, 2990. 2990, Romeo Alpha. See, there's the rain. See, we're getting into that yellow band. Okay, I see. But fortunately, it looks like we missed the red, thank God. Oh, yeah. We'll see what this thing is going to do. This is five minutes outdated plus another six minutes to load. It's about 11 minutes. Okay. So you see it build up again. See that? Uh -huh. That's why I'm turning as far to the left as possible. I want to stay so ahead of it. it. Yeah. Right. It looks like that. It's all over there. Like to the right side. For the oh, back horse okay. again, or uh, yeah. what's your opinion? Over there, that's that. See how thick that looks over there? It's the abyss. We'll see if I picked a good heading. Yeah, it looks like we're getting out of the yellow into the green zone. Okay. And it's kind of clearing up a little bit. Jacksonville Center, uh, 0712 Romeo Alpha has a request. 2 Romeo Alpha has a request. 2 Romeo Alpha would like to amend my flight plan uh, and go to uh, possibly Hopco, Hotel Oscar, Papa Kilo Oscar, and then uh, catch uh, Victor 3 at uh, or Armand or something to stay behind at, uh, all those bands of weather there. 2 Romeo Alpha, after Hopco, uh, where do you want to pick up Victor 3 again? Ormond, uh, Oscar Mike, November. 2 Romeo Alpha, code direct Hopco and then Ormond Beach. Press for change. All right, uh, direct uh, Hopco and then Armand, uh, 2 Romeo Alpha, thank you. Um, and center five six. All right, they gave it to us. You could Beautiful. The heading is about four right. degrees right for you. They gave me exactly what I wanted. Right. I'm going and then orbit. Okay, five six Romeo. Beautiful. Mike cleared twenty degrees right. We're going home. Six hundred top of right deviations are approved and uh. Let's put that in our right flight plan here. We're going to just remove SSI. Gone. Out of there. And then orbit. Beautiful. It's already in there. All right. So that was a good plan. Got around that bad weather there. I don't recommend you guys do that. Yeah, I've done with that quite a bit. Uh, it's pretty dangerous unless you have all that equipment here. And if you have real radar, then it's even better. Um, you can actually see a real picture. The fact that I have my storm score was not showing anything. So that was uh, uh, very reassuring to me because the storm will pick up the buildups. Uh, you know, 
all the lightning strikes and all that stuff, which is very accurate. It's within a couple of seconds you pick it up. And uh, it actually even picks up electrical discharge, even if it's not a real lightning. If you guys get electrocuted on the ground, I'm probably going to pick it up over here. Uh, so this path looks pretty good to me right now. It's all going to be pretty clear on the way. I'm very comfortable with what we're doing now. We're fast and thick of it. The rest of it is going to be IFR and a little bit of uh, rain, but nothing, no big deal. For those of you that haven't done your instrument uh, training, you haven't gotten your uh, instrument just flying uh, VFR, you fly long distances, you got to do this. you got to do your instrument, guys. This is the real deal. Yeah, it gets you into some dangerous situations, but uh, it also gets you out of very dangerous situations real quick. So I highly recommend that you do that. It's uh, the most important uh, ticket, and I want you to go out there and practice that stuff and use it. File IFR, be in the system even on a clear, perfect VFR day, and use it, get used to it. So that's what I do, I do it all the time, I love it, I stay current. I fly approach to my simulator, which don't really count, but I do. It really helps, <laughs> believe it or not. Like next week, I'm going to stay current. Uh, because at the end of June, my uh, iPhone uh, currency is going to run out. So I'm going to go with my buddy and a uh, couple of buddies of mine shoot three approaches one day, three approaches the other day. Right now they got me down to 8,000 because I'm going over the Jacksonville uh, International Airport uh, airspace. So I'm at 8,000 feet. My winds are terrible. Uh, 209 at 30. So basically it's coming from there. So it's, uh, my true speed is 168 and my ground speed is 144. I have a 24, 25 knot headwind component, which is not good. I'm trying to decide whether I, I, switch, I should uh, go down to 7,000 or go up to 9,000 based on the winds aloft. So I'm going to get an update on come to I have 122.2, which is uh, flight service. Let's see if I can get an update on the winds aloft. Flight service, this is 0712 Romeo Alpha, listening on 122.2. Like a SR, right 710 Romeo Alpha, computers with radio. Yep, this is 712 Romeo Alpha. November 712 Romeo Alpha, computers with radio, go ahead. All right, uh, 712 Romeo Alpha is at 8,000 feet right over Jacksonville International and on uh, en route to Boca Raton, uh, Florida, Bravo Charlie Tango. And I'd, I'd like to get an update on the winds aloft. Uh, I'm trying to decide whether 7,000 or 9,000 would be better for me once uh, they switch me over to uh, an odd altitude again to Romeo Alpha. And uh, November 2, Romeo Alpha, Roger. I do have very much along that route for IFR conditions, uh, icing, and uh, turbulence. So we one for the Navy Jack controllers. will get you um, as as turned back towards the, the runway to there. The, you can contact them now to three. Uh, uh, six nine thousand for Jacksonville. There one nine zero at two five two zero zero at three three up at one two thousand one nine zero at two six and uh, Melbourne uh, six thousand one eight zero at three one nine thousand one nine zero at three zero one two thousand two zero zero at three zero. So not much of a difference, over. Yep. Uh, well. You know, that definitely helps, so uh, not much of a difference exactly, so uh, we'll probably do 7,000. All right, uh, and I do have uh, and a pretty good idea of what's going on with those airmen that you just uh, referenced to a little earlier, so I think I'm okay on that. To Romeo Alpha. And November 2, Romeo Alpha, Roger, just required to uh, offer them to you. Uh, you have a safe trip. All right, thank you. Would you like a buyer up at this point to Romeo Alpha? And November 2, Romeo Alpha, sure. Go ahead. All right, uh, so uh, to Romeo off at this position right here, we are exactly, let's see, uh, on uh, uh, about five miles southeast of uh, Jacksonville uh, International, at 8,000 feet, uh, type is a Sirius SR-22, uh, wind is 200 at 36, and outside uh, temperature is 1-1, occasional light chop. There is two Romeo Alpha Rises. Understand in the vicinity of the JAX-135 at 5, at 8,000 feet there, it's got 11 degrees Celsius uh, with a wind at 200 at 36 and an occasional light chop. Is that all accurate and complete? Yep, and the sky is uh, basically in the clouds right here to Romeo Alpha. And November 2, Romeo Alpha, understand you are IMC at this time, is that correct? Affirmative to Romeo Alpha. 
Uh, number two, Romeo, out for Roger. Thanks for that report. Down for safe trip. Thank you very much for your help. I appreciate it, Romeo. All right, sir. So what I was doing, I was talking to them on COM 2, but I was still listening on COM 1 just in case Jacksonville uh, approach wanted to talk to me. Not much difference on the winds aloft. It's pretty sucky and it's getting worse. It's that freaking thunderstorm, a tropical storm, man. Just getting all these uh, winds from the south. It's just crazy. Right now we're looking uh, 199, basically 200 from there at 36 knots. So, <laughs> I might as well be flying uh, to Tesla 182 right now. My ground speed is 137. And my fuel is not doing that great, so I'm going to start uh, conserving a little bit. Rattling back a tiny bit. Actually, just uh, leaning it a tiny bit because I don't want to be below 28 gallons when I land. I'm going to. I leaned it a little bit. I went from 16 gallons an hour down to 14 and a half, but I lost a little bit of power from 75%. I went to 72%. So I'm going to lose a tiny bit of airspeed and ground speed, but uh, I'm going to save a ton of fuel because I went from uh, 24 gallons remaining to 27 gallons remaining, which is much more comfortable for me. Uh, that gives me another two hours of flying, which I don't really need it, but again, I don't like flying the airplane with, uh, you know, just about, uh, you know, 10 gallons on each side. That's, that's not a lot. See what's going on with the uh, radar echoes down to Boca. Nothing. It's good. Looks clear. Tony, do you want to say hi to, to YouTube over there? Tell me your YouTube friends. We have about 3,000 of them. Tell them how you're feeling. Hi, YouTube. Tell them how you're feeling. And, how are you uh, feeling? Still feeling pretty sick or you're a little better right now? Feeling a little better right now. Okay. And up my shot from the from the hospital is getting tinier. Well, that's definitely good. It's only a little dot. Look at that, YouTube. Ah, that's much better. Small, small little dot. Uh, I'm over uh, Melbourne over here on Victor 3. Uh, I have another 44 minutes to go. And uh, little zone in the back is not doing as good. She's, the treasure is coming back. So uh, they gave me direct Mahoki and then Boca. So that was an extra five minutes of flight. And probably to the headwinds too. Probably more. And uh, I responded that uh, I wanted to go uh, to Boca as soon as possible. I requested they could get us over Palm Beach at about 2,500 feet. And he did clear me direct to Boca. So when you do have a, a little bit of uh, urgency to get uh, someone, just ask for it. That's all you gotta do. Ask for it. If they don't give it to you, you have options. One, one of my options here is to also go VFR. I can take a VFR from here. I mean, it's looking pretty good. I can go down low and, and uh, you know, it's at least, you know, six, eight miles visibility. And there's no clouds. I mean, uh, uh, and then just go right below the 500 feet uh, in front of Palm Beach, right on the shoreline, and get to Boca real quick. But uh, they gave it to me, and I'm happy, so that works. Now, hopefully, they'll get me over Palm Beach at 2,500 feet, so I don't have to descend nose down into Boca because the distance is pretty, uh, pretty small. Two, four, five, Quebec, maintain 2000. Uh, Palm Beach is only 2000, 18 miles uh, north of Boca, so it's pretty, pretty close. All right, it's time to pick up the weather in Jaboka. Let's see what it's doing. On initial contact, that you perceive Tango. Information Tango. Report information Tango, 1447 meter, wind 190 at 21, visibility 10, sky condition 1600, scattered. All right. Information Tango, 190 at 21. That's windy. Uh, good thing it's only 40 degrees to the left of runaway 23, so it's not too much of a crosswind. Uh, 1600, uh, scattered, 299 or two, I said that. Okay, we're good, we have Tango. So we'll tell them when we, he switches over to Palm Beach approach. All right, we are on our initial descent into our destination, Boca, 25 minutes to go. Let's go to our checklist. Altimeter is set. Cabin heat is required, landing light. Let's save it. Brake pressure is checked. We'll come back to it a little later. 
712, Romeo Alpha, contact, Palm Beach approach, 124.6. 24.6 for Palm Beach, through Romeo Alpha, thank you. Palm Beach approach, uh, 0712, Romeo Alpha, descending through 6,500 for 6,000, and I do have information Tango into Boca. 0712, Romeo Alpha, Palm Beach approach, expect the RNAV Yankee, here only 23 approach. I will uh, expect the uh, RNAV Yankee uh, 23 approach, through Romeo Alpha. Alright, so they're giving us an approach. So, let's see how that's gonna go. Let me brief that real quick. I don't need it to do it here. I can also have I also have it here. So I don't need this no more. Boca. Procedures. Approach. RNAV Yankee. Sirius two Romeo Alpha clear direct south po. Alright, uh Sirius and Romeo I'm gonna clear direct uh, south po. All right, direct SAPO. All right, let's load all that up in here. Select approach. Uh, RNAV Yankee 23 and SAPO. Load. And let's go to SAPO. Two Romeo Alpha. Disregard the RNAV runway 23. The base is reported around 2000, so you can plan the visual approach runway 23. Clear direct Boca Raton. All right, clear direct uh, Boca and we'll plan for the visual to Romeo, thanks. All right, disregard that. Direct, let's cancel all that stuff. And back to flight plan. Back to Boca. Direct, oh, Boca. To Romeo Alpha, does that maintain 3,000? Oh, 3,000, to Romeo Alpha. All right, we're on our final descent into Boca right now. Right, we are already. Girls are all ready. Okay, cool. Girls are ready. Is my Zozo ready for landing? Yep, mommy's putting her shoes on. Yeah? My Zozo is ready for landing? Thumbs up. Thumbs up for landing? Thumbs up. Sirius 2, Romeo Alpha, contact approach 125.2. 125.2 to Romeo Alpha, thanks. Approach uh, 0712, Romeo Alpha, uh, with you uh, descending down of uh, 3000 with Tango into Boca. 712, Romeo Alpha, Palm Beach approach, Roger. All right, checklists. Build system check, make sure as required. Next checklist before landing. Okay. Number two, Romeo Alpha, just going to maintain 2,000 focus on there towards uh, 12 o'clock and one and two miles. All right, down to 2,000, and we're looking for the field to Romeo Alpha. Number two, Romeo Alpha, focus on there towards uh, one o'clock and, question, 12 o'clock and six miles. Yep, uh, going right between some clouds right now, and we should be uh, seeing it right in a, in a few seconds right now. We'll let you know. Throw me off. Number two, Romeo Alpha, turn left heading uh, 100. Zero. All right, left 100, zero, zero, throw me off. Yeah, Number two, Romeo Alpha, are you beneath the clouds or will you need the RNAV? Uh, not beneath the clouds, uh, they're scattered, uh, and uh, I don't have a visual of the field. I'm trying to look for it on my right side right now. Throw me off. Number 2, Romeo Alpha, turn left heading 050, vectors RNAV, final approach course. All right, uh, 050, thanks for the RNAV approach course, Romeo Alpha. Number 2, Romeo Alpha, just going to maintain 1,500, advise me to get beneath the cloud. All right, 1,500, and uh, I do see the field actually uh, behind me at my 4 o'clock right now, Romeo Alpha. Number 2, Romeo Alpha, clear visual approach, runway 23, contact focus tower 118.42. All right, clear for the visual 2-3 and over to tower. Thanks for your help. Appreciate it to Romeo Alpha. And Boca Tower, 0712, Romeo Alpha on the visual 2-3. Uh, uh, base uh, to final. 0712, Romeo Alpha, Boca Tower, runway 2-3, clear to land. Runway 2-3, clear to land to Romeo Alpha. All right, here's, we're going to be fly we're flying over the way and stuff. This is so cool. Yeah. Ready, we were expecting that to be the right route. Roger, hold short, trying to get your release now. All right, hold short, ready to go. 500. Wind check. 1180 at 15. November 2, 3, let me continue down one, I'll call your base. Project priority arrival. Okay, continue wind down one, you'll call our base, 2, 3, then.
Traffic. Traffic. There's two Romeo Alpha. Turn right on Foxtrot. Remain this frequency. Right on Foxtrot. This frequency. Throw them off. Well, guys, thank you for watching this entire sec this entire flight up to Michigan and back. I hope you enjoyed it. It was interesting, challenging, but a lot of fun too. I hope you also learned something. Keep your questions coming, and uh, hopefully you're gonna like this video and uh, you're gonna subscribe. Um, and uh, we will see you soon on another video by Nico's Nico's Wings. All right. Take care now.